Anger is a sacred force. There is a bubbling cauldron of fury in this society. All the people who have been injured by the vaccines and then disbelieved, ridiculed, persecuted. I want to speak to the, to the anger because here is how the system gets maintained, okay? It's maintained because the sacred force of anger is hijacked and diverted onto false targets and thereby neutralized. The false targets being those people who, in this case of vaccines, the people who ostracized us, who defamed us, who canceled us, who are the representatives of a system and a story, a paradigm, an ideology, and who are immersed in it and believe it because of the circumstances of their lives, their upbringing, the influences that they've had on their thinking. If you were in that situation, you'd be like, just like that. That's how we maintain the system is the justified righteous fury gets directed at each other. And so the right blames the left, the left blames the right. Everybody agrees that the problem is the horrible people, those horrible people, those inexcusable immigrants who are violating our laws or those bigots who hate immigrants. There's not actually a lot of either, you know? And, and when, when we free the anger from those ready targets that we are offered, then it is free to go toward the deeper causes. And it becomes no longer an implement of violence because most of these problems cannot be solved by locking someone up, by humiliating them, by destroying them. That's not gonna solve the immigration problem. It's not gonna solve gun violence. It's not gonna solve racism. It's a, it's a subtle walk here. On the one hand, not to suppress the anger, not to think it's bad, but to validate it, to hold it as sacred because it, it can keep you honest. It can keep you alive. It can keep you engaged and it can keep you courageous, you know, because I'm serious about this. And that's part of holding it as sacred, not to degrade it by directing it at the targets that we're offered. I mean, even like, you know, your father, that's the target, you know, I hate this man, he abused me. But then when you realize what it took to make him into that, well, maybe I'll hate grandpa, his, his parent who did that to him. But maybe I'll hate the one who did that to him. And like, who are you gonna hate? Hate is where anger goes to, to, to die and to fester. And this is not about letting them off the hook. This is about actually changing things. And if some of them get off the hook and the system changes, I'm fine with that. I don't need to see anyone punished as long as they don't do it again. That's way more important. So that doesn't happen to more children.